the exciting thing about WaveMaker for uh, for me, for us, is that you know by merging Maxis and MEC, it wasn't just an opportunity to take two great agencies and put them together. We always had the idea that we would you know, take the best of each agency, but really start with a blank sheet of paper and think about what do we want the media agency of the future to stand for? What do we want it to be about? What capabilities do we want it to have? And then as we're merging Maxis and MEC, it was really about with an eye towards what we wanted an agency of the future to look like. Um, and we came up with a few simple things that we're focused on. You know, the first is the marriage of media content and technology. And so media is not just about the distribution of you know, paid messages anymore. It's, it's about that, but it's also about how um, dynamic content and one-to-one -one content and technology, data and platforms, and, and the new forms of distribution are really coming together to create a different experience for consumers and different outcomes for advertisers. So the first for us is that, that, that marriage of media content and technology and how we use that to drive outcomes for our clients. Um, very big part of the, the WaveMaker focus. Um, you know, the second thing for us is where there's a lot of noise in the world of media at the moment and we were really looking for ways to simplify. How can we take something which just feels endlessly filled with buzzwords, baloney and BS and just start to really simplify what media is for our clients and how we help them to create a change in their business. And for us, what we decided is, because we had real strength in this area, was to focus very single-mindedly on the purchase journey and what are the ways that consumers make their way to the products of our clients? What are, what's the role and relationship? Um, that what, what role does the brand play and, and at what level? How can we think about that econometrically? What's the value of a brand in driving choice? You know, what are the triggers that move people to market? And then when they're really shopping, what do they do? What are the actions and sequence and order of things and the relative value of things that they do as they look to go and get to a decision? And then ultimately when, when they're shopping in a store, in a platform, in e-commerce, what's happening at that final point of purchase. So by understanding that purchase journey holistically, what we can do for our advertisers is help them to make the right interventions on the path to purchase, invest their money in the right ways, in the right places to get the biggest outcome in terms of the thing they, they most care about, which is growth for their businesses. So if I had to summarize the value proposition of WaveMaker in two ways, it'd be, it'd be an obsession with purchase journeys and then the marriage of media content and technology to generate uh, an outcome, an intervention on that path to purchase. M platform's big for us. It's uh, it's Group M's, you know, kind of big bet on uh, on on audience-based uh, targeting. It's got it's got massive scale, about 1.4 billion, you know, people, uh, unique I IDs, people-based IDs that are that are live in M platform. We're in about 50 or 60 markets now with a scaled product. So it's a really big product for us. Um, you know, the way we use that specifically at WaveMaker. Um, one of the most, I think, unique ways we're using that is we're connecting all of our research. We're now up, by the, by the end of the year, we'll have studied a million individual purchase journeys. So we've, we're putting a lot of money, time, and effort into understanding these purchase journeys. So we take all of that data that's generated from all of that research, and then through, through Kantar, through the product they have called Lightspeed, we're actually connecting all of that purchase journey insight with all of the audience data that exists in M platform. So the ability, what that allows us to do with M platform is to create a, a direct connection between, at a big, at a macro level, the, the dynamics in the purchase journey for a brand, but then also directly to the audiences that are most relevant and powerful that they need to influence that. So really for M platform, that's, a, that's our big player. It's the audience layer that sits underneath our kind of purchase journey focus. So we can really close the gap between the big strategic insights we get out of our research and purchase journeys, but then our ability to activate that you know, and deliver that through all sorts of you know, digital and, and traditional channels as well. So that's how, that's the, the most, I think, unique way at WaveMaker that we're leveraging M platform to help us to do that. It's amazing how much consistency there is out there in the world of clients uh, at the moment in terms of their principal challenges. And I'd say the two big themes I hear over and over and over again is uh, Theme number one is digital transformation. Every single client in every single category has a digital transformation agenda, which is really about the how they create different experiences with consumers and connect all of their owned, earned, paid channels and experiences to create a marketing outcome. Thinking about it more holistically, I think everything from customer service to paid advertising and how that all comes together and how then they enable that through a big digital transformation agenda. That is absolutely touching every part of our business as well as our clients drive for digital transformation. 
Part of that, I think it's related to that, the second big uh, theme everywhere you go is, uh, is the importance of e-commerce. So, you know, e-commerce is growing rapidly. You know, I, don't get a, I won't get a, a gold star for pointing out that fact. Everybody understands that. But I think in many cases, for many, many, many of the clients we work with, in many of the categories that we work, you know, e-commerce can sometimes represent 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or even 120 or 130 percent of the growth that a business or a brand is experiencing. So while relative to traditional channels, it may still be, you know, may still be a, a minority of the way you know, business is getting done for our clients, it is certainly uh, the predominant growth engine for many of them. So uh, it's a really important piece of the puzzle for, for Wavemaker, for Group M, for WPP uh, going forward as well.